MLP Digital Paint. Join me July 4th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live for our virtual pool party paint lesson. Bring a pre-painted canvas with an aqua blue color, white, black, and yellow, and your regular artist brushes, a rag, and a jar of water. Last week on Instagram, we studied seven different subjects to prepare us for this painting. If it's mass produced and trying to pawn itself off as art, it's probably kitsch, a German word for trash. But because it's so cheaply produced, we can throw it out without conscience. But if we changed our mindset and gave value to the object, not even the pool float would be cast aside. Who would throw away this $6,000 bedazzled Swarovski crystal unicorn? We could very well give the pool float more value if we looked at it from an environmental perspective and tried to hold on to the pool float in a valuable way. This is what real trash looks like, and this is what kitsch trash looks like. Straws, for instance, have just undergone a revolution. Their pretty stripes and colors are now stainless steel and reusable, so kitsch can develop into a form of art. In 1925, Fritz Karpfen wrote, Kitsch, a study of the recognition of art. In 1934, Franz Linda wrote, Art or Kitsch but most people refer to Claremont Greenberg, an art critic and essayist who wrote in 1939, Avant-Garde and Kitsch. The essay appeared in the Partisan Review, where he fiercely stood up for modernism and shunned the degradation of culture known as Kitsch. Kitsch was so shunned in the art world that it is rarely considered an art form. It was advertisers and print media that began to stylize kitsch, so that now, a hundred years later, we live constantly with kitsch in our throwaway society. You can find Yoko Honda on Instagram at Yokopium. She pays homage to all things 80s, all things garish, all things gaudy, channeling the era's excess and affluence. Take a look at this phone with a cord in the pool. And why is there a record in the pool? Because it's kitsch. But the photographer Maria Svarbova does something different. She's subtle and simple, but look a little closer. What's with that swim cap? We never know the names of swim cap designers, but we do know that in 1916, swimwear company Janssen, who coined the word swimsuit, might have had something to do with it. Plastic means pliable and easily shaped and is the byproduct of petroleum and fossil fuels. So it's our thirst for oil and its byproduct that has pushed the innovation of kitsch. In 1907, Leo Bakeland created Bakelite, the first fully synthetic plastic, meaning it had no molecules found in nature. Plastic was marketed as a material of a thousand uses. But years later, in 1960, it was associated with cheap, flimsy, and fake. We realized that plastics are critical to modern life and helped with the development of computers, cell phones, and modern medicine. Sometimes I ponder these things as I sit on my kitschy pool float. Miami, Hollywood, Palm Springs, Japan, it doesn't really have to be in warm weather to be kitsch. Kitsch is defined by mass production, not by location. However, a good location to find kitsch are the shelves of a thrift store. 
endless displays of unwanted items tossed away for its house cluttering or brokenness. Many artists shop these shelves to create I spy pictures or what I call kitsch collage. And this type of art does engage the viewer by having the viewer ask, why was that thrown out? What do I think about it in a different color? What would you choose from a thrift store shelf to create a kitsch collage? I would choose pool items. Kitsch is not defined as a style. It's simply trash. There's retro kitsch, kawaii kitsch, corporate kitsch. We justify producing kitsch by using the term branding. The value does not come from the actual product, but rather the affiliation or the association with a particular brand. They are usually selling us a good time or a fun feeling. It's become integral to sales and marketing and usually given out as gifts to potential clients. The pool float has become a branding mecca. two very kitschy museums to look into, the Color Pool Museum in Seoul and the Ice Cream Museum in Miami. Both museums are known for their Instagram photo opportunities. No one wants to miss the opportunity to jump into a pool filled with something other than water. After all, how many millions of mass-produced balls did it take to fill that pool? or for that matter, how many sprinkles. And we all know there's just nothing like eating ice cream on your very own mass-produced ice cream float on a hot summer's day. I hope you've enjoyed our journey this week, learning about pool kitsch. And of course, everybody enjoys a little fun sometimes, but let's not forget its environmental impact.